Hey guys, how you all doing? So the date today, I'm just grabbing my other phone, is um, Friday the 19th of August. And I just need to catch up with you because I know I haven't videoed for a while. But um, it's been a real struggle. So some things are good have happened, but there's been a lot of tough stuff. So um, I've been working for Indeed, as you know. But I've been struggling to get to any of these jobs because we've had big strikes up here. So we've had train strikes and we've had bus strikes. So I've had to be very careful about the jobs I took to make sure that I could get to them. Um, which has meant that I've not been able to take a lot of the jobs that have been on offer. So I've actually not been earning a lot of money. So that has been a major struggle because I've been stuck at home. Um, and just, just sort of locking myself in my room and getting a bit down about that um, and then worrying about you know we've got this crisis coming up um, at the end of this year where the, you know everything's going up all the electricity and the gas and food prices are going up and I've got to make sure that um, the money I have um, keeps me going for the next two months and the reason for that is I've made a big decision so um I, I, you know, I was saying that I was going wanted to work with this mental health project, um, and that I was going to start as a volunteer. So I've done that, and I've signed up as a volunteer, and I've been down to see them and everything. Um, but at the moment, I can't take any work on because I need to sort my works, my proper work side out, and my financial side out. And I'm realizing that I just can't just depend on this Indeed stuff. You know, I was trotting along thinking something will come up and um you know i'll get a proper job oh sorry it's my phone lagging sorry about that um so um what i decided to do was i have decided to take a course it's a week long you come out with a decent certificate at the end of it it's costing me a few bob but that's okay i had money put away from when i was earning um, I just need to um, hang on for the courses um, next Monday to Friday. I can't tell you what it is at the moment because every time I tell something I'm doing something, it jinxes, it doesn't happen, it, somehow or other it collapses. So I just want you to know that I'm doing a course. I'm hoping at the end of it I will get um, the certificate um, and then that certificate will actually put me into proper work. Um, with decent money and also because it's a countrywide um, because you know it's a universal certificate I can if I wanted to I could move and do that work anywhere in the country so that's my decision I've paid my money for that I've got the course coming up I'm spending a lot of time on the internet doing the e-learning with it and finding out anything I can about how to do it um, on YouTube just trying to keep ahead of um, you know the game so to speak then there'll be a week long um, classroom um, tuition with a, an exam at the end of it and then when you get the exam when you've done the exam and you pass you then get your certificate so and then you can go off and do this work so um, and, and I've had a look on indeed normal indeed to see um, what's going on in that world and there are a lot of adverts for people wanted in this job so I am hoping that it does me right. It's the thing I had to do. I mean, I ran my own company. I've not really worked for anybody else for a long, long time, you know, over 20 years, because before my company, I was um, driving taxis. <laughs> um, and uh, that that's yourself employed in that. So um, even though it was a chauffeur car company and, and stuff, it was great. It has been a struggle and it's a real struggle now because obviously all the jobs I'm doing are, are really, really awfully hard work um, for very little money and this is not who I am. So <clears throat> I'm doing this course next week. It starts on Monday, uh, not this Monday. No, so I've got a whole week to wait yet. So it's not this Monday, it's next Monday to Friday. So I won't be in touch again till after I've done the course. And then hopefully I'll have passed and I'll be able to tell you everything that's going on. Um, <clears throat> but in the meantime, I'm trying to do the work that I can do that I can get to on Indeed Flex. Um, most of them you see around Chester 
or out Manchester Way or Warrington Way and, and you need to get the train. I mean, my train ride is pretty easy when the train's running, but you know, the trains are on strike today and they're sorry, they were on strike yesterday and then they were and there's probably a um, hit and miss for today and then they're on strike tomorrow. And then again, you see it's hit and miss at the moment for when the trains will run until next week. So, and then the buses have been on strike for a oh, good few weeks. They were back yesterday and I went on a bus ride yesterday to um, to speak because there's an Indeed job there, um, that Flex one that um, I've been looking at doing. And I thought, well, you know what I'll do today? I'll go and take a ride to that and see how easy it is to get there and back because it's all free. And that worked out very well. So I know I can do that. So, um, yeah, so I've got a couple of bits I'm going to put in here about my walk to a job that I went to in Chester. I think I'm putting that in. And I will um, update you um, at the end of not this coming week, but the week after as to how I've done, what's happened and let you know what's happening next. It's going to be tough out there, guys. I hope you're all watching your finances and your spending. Don't spend too much on clothes and stuff. You may need it for the winter. So just be careful and I will catch up with you all soon. Big smile. I am happy. I'm OK. You know, I'm not depressed. I'm not down. Um, I'm revising and um, it's just a bit boring. It, it has been tough not being able to get out on the train or the bus to jobs. You know. So that's been very tough and I've not been getting home. I've been going out at four o'clock in the afternoon to a job that's only two hours long and not getting home till 11 o'clock at night because I've had to wait for the train because there are no buses up here. So it has been tough, um, but hopefully it will get better soon. Uh, catch you all soon. Take care. So heading back to Chester railway station at Hall. Just finished work. I'll show you me in a minute. Man, it's hot. Well, it's not hot. It's been humid today, so the temperature dropped down to 69. But um, the humidity's made it really hot, so I've sweated buckets. This one's the uh, the doctor surgery. It was actually enjoyable tonight. It's only two hours long. Well, don't forget, it's all free. It's just my time, which at the moment, with all the studying I'm doing. Um, Plenty of time I'm trying to study for something which I can't tell you about yet until I've done it and passed my test and I'll let you know about that afterwards but at the moment I'm doing my agency and studying so let me show you now so uh, how do I look not too bad considering <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so hungry and tired. So that picture at the front was of me in a mirror in one of the bathrooms in the doctor's surgery. I was cleaning up. So just by the railway station now. Half an hour until my train, nine o'clock. Um, and I will catch you guys later. So this one is a really bad choice today. It's nearly a 45 minute walk from the railway station to the hotel because there are no buses going out this way at this time of the morning. I'm walking it and it's really hot. It's another really hot day today, so... Six and a half hours, so I am hoping to get through it. Yeah, so just on my way down to the hotel, walking it. I've walked 40 minutes already. Actually, I've walked 35. So it's another 10 minutes yet. Because it says I'll be there at uh, 8.45. So. <laughs> it's 
So anyway, just got a major road to cross, and then hopefully it's down there on the right. So I'll catch you later, guys. Thank you. Um, on the top of the trolley, you've got your single stuff. We use a double sheet on a single bed and a single duvet. Next one down is your king size. So you'd use that on a five foot bed. And then on that one down there, that's your super king. So that's for any zip and link. Yes, for that one. That one is a super. Pillowcases on here. You're sorry. Yeah. yeah. Bath sheets here. Yeah. Why are you changing your own bed? Right, so that's videoed. That's videoed. So that's all, all as it is, isn't it? So I'll just come in here. Thank you. Okay, that's great. I've just got in from a day's labour in a hotel. It was it was hard because it was so hot. But it was a lovely hotel in Chester. They were lovely people. Um, and it was it was hard work but you know, I felt looked after, so I really enjoyed that one. But it's just so hard to get to, so I don't think I'm gonna go back to that one. It's nearly it's forty minutes walk and it's just it's just too much it's taking me I've done six hours work it's taking me ten hours to get there and come back do my work and come back it's just a bit too long especially in the heat I just I'm knackered I've ordered the takeaway and I'm waiting for that now <laughs>